Guides can be thought of as a virtual and 3D aware PowerPoint deck. After selecting one of the available guides, the first thing required is finding the starting point. This starting point anchors all visuals used within the guide to your relative location. Like PowerPoints, guides have the ability to display dynamic information like pictures, schematics, PDFs, videos, and even web pages. You'll notice that guides will direct the user's gaze to where the next action is required. Here, the user is being directed to look down towards the emergency stop. Additionally, an animated graphic is displayed to better communicate what the desired action is. Once completed, the user can move on to the next step. This step is an example showing multiple graphics, gaze direction, and reinforcement of information from the card. The user is being asked to turn on the device and wait for the temperature to reach 180 degrees. Not only is the user shown where to turn on the device, but they're also shown where to look. The setting they're looking to achieve is called out using a 3D graphic. In this example, we see both a 3D location pinning as well as the ability to look through and beyond the instruction card itself. This step highlights two things. First, the 3D and spatial awareness of the graphics that are being placed. Initially, the instructions to modify the dial don't appear to be clear. But after moving to the side, it becomes obvious that the rear dial is the one requiring adjustment. Additional information can be pulled up at any time to show specifications. Also, should the machine itself be IoT enabled, feedback from the device can be displayed. Again, we can see the spatial awareness of the HoloLens to properly place the instructional graphic. Here, we direct the user to the active operation zone. As we can see, this volume represents the area the user should avoid. As a reminder, our recording is from one of the two cameras required for the stereoscopic view. Thus the graphic appears to drift. This drift is not what the user sees. Finally, the user is directed to the actual operation of the machine. Multiple graphics are shown at a time. And thus, we have completed this guide. It should be noted that what we have shown is only part of the process. While the user is executing these steps, we can collect usage data and metrics to both compare users' performance as well as improve the guides that we create.